What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a makeup look for you and I decided to use my MAC Burgundy Times 9. A girl cannot get a break with these noises outside. Okay. And I came up with this kind of like mauve-y, perpy, mauve-y, perpy. Mauvey, purpley, smoky eye. So this look was really fun for me to create. If you don't live in Southern California, you haven't been experiencing the massive heat wave with us. Throughout the video, I have a fan coming in from the side. I'm not trying to look like Glamour Queen. I just am really hot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. To start off the look today, I'm going to be priming my skin with the Jouer Anti-Blemish Matte Primer. And I've been really loving this primer for a smooth finish. And then I'm going to go in with my Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced. And I'm using the shade Warm Nude. And I've just been loving this foundation. It looks so beautiful, so natural, and it just really covers everything that I need to without it looking too overpowering. So I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender. A lot of these products that I'm using today have been my current favorites, and this is what I've been doing for my cover-up for the past couple of weeks. So I'm then going to mix two concealers. One is the NARS Radiant Concealer in Light 3. Honey, and then my MAC Pro Longer in NW20, and this just gives me a really nice subtle highlight rather than a wabam highlight, which if I used one it would be too dark, and if I used the other it would be too light. So I find that these mix really well together, and I really love the way it looks. So blending that with my Beauty Blender as well, and then I'm going to set everything and kind of do a little bit of baking. So wherever you put that concealer, you're also going to want to apply a bit of powder and just kind of let it set on your face and this will ensure that your makeup look will last a lot longer and just look really really smooth in photography. So I'm also going to apply some powder into my brows. I'm using the Brow Bar To Go and using this middle shade here. And I fill my brows in the same way I would with a pencil. Same kind of outline, just using powder. So if you guys are interested in learning how I use a powder to fill in my eyebrows, please let me know and I will definitely get that out to you. Once I've blended out that powder, I'm then going to set my eyebrows with this brow set by MAC and I'm in the color Quite Brunette. And I just talked about this in my favorites video. I really love it for adding a little bit of texture if you do fill in before using anything at all. So I've been really enjoying that. And since we finished our brows, it's about time to wipe off the excess powder. So what I do is I just really lightly move the brush around to just kind of dust everything off and make sure there isn't any loose powder on my face. I'm then going to start with the eyes. So I really love to highlight with this Prep and Prime highlighter by MAC and I use the shade Light Boost just because it's a really nice gold shade. And what I do basically is I put a little bit on the back of my hand and then take a concealer brush and just clean up the under brow as well as highlighting it at the same time and I just really enjoy the color of this product. I'm then going to use a eye primer. This one's by NARS and if you have oily eyelids, this is the primer for you. You will not be creasing or getting oily with this primer. I'm obsessed. So going into that Times 9 palette, the Burgundy palette by MAC, I'm taking Poppy Seed which is a limited edition shadow and this one I believe is a satin finish and just applying that all over the lid. I then decided I wanted something a little bit warmer for the crease so I picked up Soft Brown but any transitional shade that you have will do. You could even use Ho. I just needed a little bit of like warmth in the eye look. So I added a lot of these blending steps into the tutorial just so you can see that I really am going in and blending. It's not a very fast operation I'm doing. I just, I really get in there uh, with the brushes and blend back and forth quite a bit. So I'm also taking soft brown on a pencil brush and again I'm layering this color to really build up some depth because we want the lower lash line to be a little bit smoky as well if we're going to go a little bit heavier on the top. So I'm also going to go in with 
Ho, and this color, again, you could use through the crease if you wanted to, but I'm just using a little bit stiffer of a blending brush and applying this to the outer crease just to add a little bit more transition for the darker shades that we're going to go in with. This step is also very optional, um, taking Star Violet and just applying this to the outer most part of the lid. I mean, if you got the palette, go for it. If you don't or you don't have this color, you ended up really not being able to see it much at all. So no big deal, um, but we're going to go in with Sketch, which is a deep purple shade and one of my favorite shades by MAC. And we're going to apply this in the outer half of the lid and also just bringing that halfway in through the crease. And again, I went in with this couple of... A couple different times just because I really wanted to build up the depth and be able to blend it out so that this look is seamless so here I am just going in and blending and then going in a little bit more and blending and then I'm taking that big brush that had the soft brown with nothing else on it and then blending it again so if you lost any of the color on your lid go back in with some poppy seed like I did and just kind of brighten that shade up a little bit and then I brought the color up a little bit higher uh, and it kind of covered up my highlights. So then I just went in with some Blanc type. And this shade should be in this palette. <laughs> I mentioned this in my review of this palette and they just need a brighter shade just to give it a little bit more highlight. Um, but yeah, just highlight your brow bone with whatever color you have and you should be good to go. I'm then going to take Embark, which is the center shade, and I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line just to give us a little bit more of a smoky feel on the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to blend that into that soft brown so it's really nice and seamless. We don't want any jagged edges on the lower lash line. And here goes the fan. It's My hair was in my face this whole video. I'm so sorry, but it was really, really hot today. <laughs> Next step you're going to want to take is adding your liner and lashes if you would like to add lashes. Of course I'm using Pixie Lux by House of Lashes because they are my jams and I use NYC liquid liner to line my eyes. And I know it looks a little jagged, I'll fix it in a little bit. But I'm using Champagne Pop Shimmering Skin Perfector by Becca Cosmetics and applying this to my cheekbones with an eyeshadow brush by... Bobbi Brown and I really like this for highlighting because it just dusts it on really really nice. So highlighting the usual areas, the cupid's bow, cheekbones, chin and a little bit on my nose just to give my face a little bit more dimension. Next product I'm going to take is this Makeup Forever Matte Bronze powder and this one is in the shade 30. I'm not sure if they make these anymore just because they've come out with new bronzers but if you do have any bronzer go ahead and use it. I'm just using a big brush from MAC uh, and just kind of defining the face. Uh, I'm not contouring, definitely bronzing with a slight contour. So definitely get your bronzer on just to bring a little bit more warmth and life into your face. I'm then going to apply Dainty Mineralized Blush by MAC. And I think that this is just really beautiful and complements the purple mauve of the eyes really, really well without being too monochromatic. I'm then going to apply my lipstick and this one here is Cashmere Satin Kiss by Ciate, and I'm obviously obsessed with these lipsticks if you've watched my past couple of videos. And um, I'm just going to apply this and then apply a little bit of Subculture Lip Pencil by MAC because your girl is obsessed with lip pencils. So just give yourself a little bit of an outline. Then moving back to the eyes, I'm going to apply a little bit of the Becca Champagne Pop in the inner corner. And if you do not have this highlight, definitely use Honey Lust, which is in the Times 9 palette, because it has that same kind of golden undertone, and it looks really, really complimentary with the purple of the eyeshadow that we have on. And then I'm also going to apply a little bit of mascara to my lower lashes. Kind of went out of order, but hey, it's okay. Everything was finished at the end. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit of set with this Smashbox primer water and you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please let me know what you'd like to see in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!